Hi guys, it's Jimmy from Crafts Names and Things. So I want to do a pretty quick tutorial with you. I'm going to use my jelly plate here and I want to show you how I use um, my, um, these are my hot glue gun stencils that I made. As you can see, I've been loving on them a lot. <laughs> so I want to show you how you can use them with your jelly print very easily. Okay, so um, I'm going to be using a lot of poster paint. I do have um, acrylic paints though in pink and yellow. So I'll use a couple of those. Um, but I got these poster paints at the thrift store for super cheap. So I'm just going to lay some stuff down here. Um, I do have just index cards, which I actually love jelly printing on. They're really pretty and you can use them for all sorts of stuff and they make great additions to Happy Mail. So I just have a bunch of stuff here. Um, I also have some tissue paper that I'm probably going to do next since I haven't done that yet. Um, but all you're going to do is lay down your paint just as usual, just like you would normally do. I'm just squirting down some color here. I'm going to add a little bit of red. Okay. Like that. And I just always have a piece of scrap piece of paper um, that I can just roll my brayer on um, and then I'll just jelly print over it. That's kind of what I like to do the best. So that's what I'm going to do. And a lot of these are just magazine pages. Um, I try to use recycled um, papers mostly for my jelly print. So yeah. Because why not? I mean, it's like free paper <laughs> that you have hanging around at your house. You don't have to pay for it. And um, it makes really beautiful impressions. And I just really love magazines because you can see the like the writing coming through. And I love lettering and all that stuff. So that's right up my alley. And I just take it and just clean off that grayer just like that. Now, for the trick for that I've noticed for these hot glue gun stencils is you take them. You lay them down, um, and you can lay down as many as you want. Maybe we'll do these three first, okay? You're going to lay them down on your thing, on your jelly plate, and then you're going to take them and you're going to gently brayer over them, but you want to apply pressure. And then when I lift that up, you can see that they're, the impression's there. So let me do this other one too. Now, if I was just to kind of leave it on there, it wouldn't make much of an impression. So make sure that you brayer it very good and that removes some of the paint and that gives you your impression okay and then I'm just gonna go on the side here and just kind of use up all that paint on there okay but it's very very easy to do but this is how I use my um, stencils and then we'll just do this big triangle one okay and I can even do that one again because it didn't make much of an impression. So again, just apply pressure. You want to remove as much paint as you can so that you actually get the, the design in there. Okay, so that's all we need there. So I'm just going to grab my tissue paper here and I'm going to put that over. And I jelly print on everything, like seriously everything. So we're just going to take it. I just love the impressions and you can pretty much do it on anything. Look at how pretty that is on tissue paper. It just gives such a beautiful um, impression. I just love it. Okay. Just like that. And I'll make a video just doing that and you could use this for collaging for art journaling, you know, and you get two beautiful prints, which I love. Just gorgeous. Okay, so let's try another one. We'll do kind of the same colors. That's kind of what I'm into right now. It's the pink and the orange and the red is what I'm loving right now. So that's what I'm going to use. But that's just how you use the stencils, basically. You just kind of um, you just sprayer over your paint, just like that. And this sprayer I got from Hobby Lobby. I'll put a link below, though. Um, they sell it on Amazon um, if you're interested, just like that. Because I get questions like that sometimes, but any brayer will work. I actually got this um, at what did I say at um, Hobby Lobby, and it was like, um, and I used you know a forty percent off coupon just to get a deal. So let's try this one. So we'll do this one, and I'm just gently going to brayer it. Okay. And you can just use the same stencil. You don't even have to switch to, you know, a couple more. You could just keep going with this. Um, just make sure that you're making an impression that you're removing some of that paint so you get the design. OK, 
Okay, that's the main thing. And we can use, I love these circles. They're so pretty. So I'm going to do those just like that. This one, this one, and that one. Okay. And let me show you with the index card. So I have some index cards here. Um, so all I'm going to do is just set them right on the jelly plate. So I just kind of line them up just like that right on my jelly plate. And as I said, these will be great additions in Happy Mail or um, for kind of whatever. And then here, this still has paint on it, so I'm going to brayer that. Just going to take it and we're going to just apply some pressure. And it gets even more pattern on it. So just get a pack of index card at the dollar store and look at what you can make. I mean, they're so pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. And then I can use the rest of this with my, I mean, and like I said, I use phone book pages. This was free at the grocery store. You can get, you know, a phone book at the grocery store for free in their section. So, I mean, just some cool stuff. I do want to show you um, some of them that I've made. Okay. And these are just with the hot glue gun stencils. Okay. So look at how pretty that is. And I'll put a link below too, if you want to see the video. And these are actually on, um, the it's on photo paper see and it just makes a beautiful impression and then that's my tracing paper and i have that and that and i did an envelope and that's an index card so i mean look at how pretty and you can see the circles you can definitely see the impressions and then that had you know a flower on it and this had flowers and then these were circles Okay. And then this one had flowers, and then this is um, actually, it's a postcard. I found a packet at the thrift store that you just pull apart, and they're supposed to go through your printer, but you can absolutely print on them, and they're already pre-cut. And then um, this is my labels for my stickers, and that's more labels. But I just had a great time. Look at how pretty that one is. I love that one. And you just mix your colors. And as I said, I love using um, this tempura paint or your poster paint um, just because it's cheap, it dries really quick, and you get a huge quantity of it. And it works really well. I have like collage with it, and I've been happy with the results. Like it doesn't run or anything like that. It, it's like fully waterproof, so you can collage with it. But, I mean, I just use all sorts of scraps, and I'm going to have so much fun using all this stuff. But I just kind of wanted to show you um, just how you can use these beautiful stencils that have been very well loved <laughs> just to make um, beautiful jelly prints. Okay, so you don't have to, you know, if you don't have money to buy stencils, um, yeah, just break out your hot glue gun and, and make, you know, make your own stencils and you can make beautiful prints. I mean, I love them. I think you can really see a lot of the impressions. So I'm in love with these right now. Okay. So um, I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.